What is interesting though is people keep saying to me, well Chris, you know, what is the answer to this? Everybody in this room knows what the answer to this is because every single person in this room knows what produces super performance because we've all experienced it at some point in our career or life. Think back, there must have been a time in your career when every single day you were utterly motivated to get up and go to work. Really, really looking forward to get there because you knew that when you got to work you would be inspired. You would love doing what you're doing and that's a marvellous feeling. Why? Because in those simple terms you had a best boss. Somebody who truly inspired you and made you want to go that extra mile, made you want to give super performance. Hands up in the audience people who have experienced that feeling, please. Yes, everybody, thank you, that is good. I get very upset when no, somebody doesn't put their hand up and I think, have you never been inspired at work? How do we do that? If you think about that person that inspired you and you think about what they did each day that allowed you to be that inspired, I know what you're thinking about. Because for the last 20 years, wherever I have gone around the world talking to leaders, I've asked them the question, exactly that question. And when we've had time, they've given me their list of things that their best boss did. On my phone over there, I have one from a Chinese state corporation, from HR directors in London, from CEOs in Tehran, from um, that sort of thing, HR directors in Helsinki. Because I know what's on that list. I have done that, investment bankers New York, lawyers London, HR directors Chennai, executive committee of the Myanmar Red Cross, top 50 leaders of the Chinese space program, UK National Health Service, and everybody in between. And you know what? It is always, always the same list. The words might change, but it's the same list. And when you look at that list, you say to yourself, well, hang on, what are we talking about? We're talking about they praised and encouraged me. They accepted I made genuine mistakes. They acted with integrity. They led by example. They asked me for my ideas. They gave me feedback. They were fair and they treated me decently. They inspired me. They let me get on with the job and they didn't interfere. It's not complicated. Also, when you look at that, you'll see they're color coded. Because I say to the audience, tell me, which of those relates just to the job? Which of those relates to your emotional relationship with the line manager? Which of those relates to a bit of both? The blue is emotional relationship. The green is a little bit of both. And the black is just the job. And then you say, hang on, does everybody agree that this is the list that makes us all give super performance? Yes. Well, how come there's only one thing relates to the task specifically on there. Is that maybe because when we tell people just to do the job, they just do the job? Is it maybe because when we do all these other things and we inspire them, they do more than the job? And the interesting thing is when you look at that list, you pose the question, if my organisation was to do that everywhere, how much would it cost? Nothing. When could it be done? immediately. Does it require a course? No. And yet we're getting involved with all sorts of complicated things that cost us money and actually don't have anywhere near the power of that. How much benefit? We know from all the stats there's proven benefit, there's significant benefit. 30% more effort from 60% of people ladies and gentlemen. Think about that in terms of the challenges your organisation is facing. How much easier would it be to meet those challenges? How much easier would it be to achieve your targets? How much easier would it be to achieve the vision and deliver the legacy you want if you were getting 30% more effort from 60% of your people? Finance directors say to me, Chris, this is a complete no-brainer. Why hasn't somebody told me this before? This is a license to print money. 
practical things that people can do. These are the performance uplifts, the increases in effort that an employee may give when a line manager does these things compared to a line manager who does not do these things. Just explaining how you fit into the big picture, 33%. And I say, please, please, please. I mean, just look at the last figure. Just showing you care about your people compared to a leader who does not, plus 24%. Just showing you care. No cost, no course, immediate impact. When you're getting that extra 30% from that 60%, and that's where the real return on HR investment is, getting those people who want to be leaders like that to be leaders like that simply and cheaply then how do you focus it onto what matters most the key thing ladies and gentlemen is in the modern world in the 21st century we can't just do our job we can't just focus on this little narrow picture and say i'm doing my job that's all that matters because it no longer works we need to understand purpose and context for everybody because everybody needs to understand that big picture in terms of what we're trying to achieve. And I know some of your organizations are actually better at this than many major global corporations where the message gets lost. You need to understand that big picture because it's only when you understand that big picture that you can see what you are trying to achieve as an organization. It's only when you see the big picture, people become inspired rather than seeing just their little part. From the commercial world, the figures would suggest that now 50% of profitability is delivered through collaboration over and above doing your own job. Now, if that applies to the commercial world, you can bet that the figures are roughly the same in terms of performance vis-a-vis -vis the public sector world, 50%. No longer can leaders just say, do your job. That's all we want. It has to be more than that. But to enable people to do more than that, you need to move somewhere. 